On the mat are marked the outlines of two feet, suggesting that I should stand on it. And as I do so, I'm facing a very large projection on which I can see myself. So I'm standing here in the center of the projection. And then this is weird. Suddenly, one figure is appearing to my left, another human. And then there's a young lady who has appeared to my right. And I've just looked to my left and right in real life, and nobody's standing there apart from Bill. So something is going on here, obviously, and I think this will be a good point to bring in the artist responsible. So this is uh, Alexandra Dementieva. Tell us what the name of this piece is, Alexandra, and what you're doing here. Well, this is the name of the piece. This is Mirror Memory. And, of course, the title really helps me understand it, Mirror Memory. So for a while I have the sense that I'm standing in front of a mirror and then almost from the mirror's subconscious from its memory, it draws up these other figures, doesn't it? Yes, because other figures says it's just also somebody who were here at the exhibition and also was just in face of the mirror. Uh, also, like you notice, you see yourself, first of all, because our reflection is very important for us and our life. And after, slowly you start to see people who passed by before, like one day, two days, three days before. And mirror memory, why it's memory? Because it's accumulating all people who watched this piece. And also this is something that uh, for me it's very important uh, that we leave traces. And our traces, even we are thinking that they are completely invisible, they are visible with the help of new technology. And this is uh, one of these. So it reminds us that people trod here before, but most of all, it's a reminder to me that the figure that I've just presented to the mirror has now gone into its memory, and then probably tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to appear at some point next to a stranger, somebody who's just walked in, reminding us of the traces we leave behind. Do you mean the traces in the networks, the way that we all have a digital trail, we leave these crumbs behind now? Well, I think it's uh, also metaphorical because what this is also one thing is that if we're somewhere, so we are never really paying attention to what we leave after us. And uh, this is now a global problem if we'll talk about ecology. We never think about it. So for me, it's like a possibility just to make visual that uh, our traces are everywhere. And uh, if something really happened, we are, we are irresponsible. Now, Bill Thompson, this is why we come out here and we make programs about digital art, because if we wanted a discussion about privacy and digital traces, we could do, and we often do on the program with people sitting in front of us that we interview. This is an artistic way of exploring that idea. And, and a way that's designed to, to disturb the person who stands here, you know, as, as you were disturbed by the appearance of two strangers. But of course, it could well be over the time that this piece is here in Venice, you will stand there and it will be somebody you know. If you decided to come back here in September, it could be me that you see next to you. And that would be actually even more disturbing because you don't expect to encounter a friend or a colleague in this sort of, sort of networked environment. And I think that sense of holding on to the past and then presenting it to you in unexpected ways and bringing the rest of the world to you is an important emotional side of it. The piece actually reminds me of, of a work we saw in Venice several years ago, Raphael Lutzana Hemmer's piece, Pulse Room, which recorded the heartbeat of participants as, a, as the pulsation of a luminescent light bulb in a room that had 500 bulbs in it. And there it was capturing something about the essence of a person. Uh, and what we have here with Alexandra's work is capturing much more. It's capturing my face, my image, the way I stand. But it's still doing the same sort of thing. It's sucking me into the machine and then making me available in ways that are outside my control. And Alexandra, there might even be something comforting about this. There's something about us that lives on. And I can't help asking, is there a point that you've programmed the mirror to forget us? Am I just going to be a fleeting presence in this mirror's memory? Well, I think it's much more about to not to forget us, but to remember others 